What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Air Nurse Survival. So, plan for today, I'm going to be recording the video a little bit differently to usual. So normally I would just record and talk at the same time. But plan for today, I'm going to be going over, as you will have seen by the title and thumbnail of the video, an exclusive interview with the devs that was posted on MetaHub that I submitted, I think two, maybe three of the questions towards. I think it was po probably just two of them, actually. Anyway, so there's quite a decent amount of information in there, as well as the dev's usual kind of side-tracky, not-enough-information answers. So, yeah, I'll just jump straight into it, and I'm going to actually record the part where I'm in the farm later on and just edit this all together. So, ta-da, magic. I'll be probably clearing out the farm now, whereas in reality... I'm on the main screen of the map. Right, so question one was how many people are actively working on the game? And apparently, I found this quite interesting, there's apparent there's about 50 people working on the game, but they've got about 20 people joining in from time to time. Now, there's quite a few random questions about the game that I'm sure some of you won't be interested in. However, I'm just going to go through the entire article, and I will, of course, have the article linked in the description below for anyone that wants to read it. And, right, so, next question was, what was the inspiration for Zombies? Were you inspired by other games or by some of the classic mu movies? And Cloud, who is the lead game designer, well, lead um, producer, head of the game, he is the one answering all the questions. So, what was the inspiration for the Zombies? Were you inspired by other games or some of the classic movies? Sure thing. The idea had been floating around for a while, maybe two years or so. There were also a few prototypes before we managed to have this product. We always wanted to do a zombie survival game which didn't know where to start, but we're certainly glad of where we're at right now. So, it's a shame that they're not saying where the inspiration for the zombies comes from, because personally I, I am 100% sure, in my opinion at least, that a lot of the zombies are based on those from Dead Island 2. So if you actually look at some of the zombies in Dead Island 2, they are almost the exact spitting image of the ones from Last NF. So I'll have screenshot comparisons on the screen now, which I'll have done in editing. Next question. How far ahead are things planned for, and how much can you tell us about what would be coming in a month, in a year, in two years, etc.? So, things are planned for a year ahead, although these plans often change throughout the throughout time based on players' reactions, feedback, metrics, etc etc. We have to adapt, of course. So that means that the devs have actually got the entire next year of development for the game planned, which is a really good sign from a player side and from content creator side as well, because it means there's going to be continuous stuff to be working on. Right. How many players does Elderly attract on a daily basis? Is it still attracting new players? While the amount of regular players decreased since the first few months following the release of the game, we still have a lot of new players on a regular basis. The boom that we received at launch was incredible and we are still attracting a very good amount of players regularly. Now this is a completely normal answer. Game devs never give the exact number of players. It's only if a game is on things like Steam, so you can check Steam charts that so you can see their actual amount of players. Not sure why they don't give their average the um, yeah, average player number out, but oh well. Uh, when is the end of the beta phase scheduled for, or will it be only when a certain stage of the game is reached, and if so, what stage would that be? And Cloud has responded, oh that's easy, beta ends when we reach a stable build that contains a lot of multiplayer content for the players to play with. So, the game is going to be in beta until they have added a lot of multiplayer stuff for us to be doing. So, we've got still no idea how long that'll be, but hopefully it'll be sometime within the next year. Right. Should we expect hordes to increase in difficulty or their manics, mechanics to be modified at some point? The reason we ask is they feel a bit pointless except for new players. Cloud has responded, yeah, we're planning to change horde. At the moment, the plan is to give the players an ability to completely destroy the Horde's nest, thus making a player's base safe from the Horde. But new outposts will still be raided by zombies and raiders from time to time, so look out. Now, we've all heard of the outpost update that is going to be coming at some point. For those that don't know what the outpost is, 
we are going to be able to build, essentially, a second base off somewhere from what I could tell from what they were saying. And it might even be a location where there's some multiplayer stuff happening as well. So the outpost might be where you're able to have some of your clanmates or other players visiting. But that is also going to be attacked by zombies. And when they say raiders from time to time, does that mean players raiding it or the actual raiders? Because I've got a feeling that means the actual raiders and they might finally be doing something with the raider boss that they teased in Discord months and months ago. So hopefully we'll find something out about that soon. And then the final question, which I found the most interesting. Could you speak about the fact that some of the items have been appearing as requirements for blueprints for a long time now, titanium for example, but are not yet released, while other things are being released, for example the garage? We understand that releasing the most efficient weapons and gear right away would be would overpower some players, but given an, given an appropriate spawn rate with an added difficulty to unlock their blueprints, similar to the acid bath, would seem like an arguably decent way of doing things. And Cloud has responded, Titanium will most likely be available at dark zone locations. Now, I'm just going to read the note that the author has put on here, which is um, Boons11. He said, Dark Zone locations. In the event that your knowledge of the game is too scarce, do not go crazy. This is not something that is currently available in the game. Which we all know, of course. Does that mean we could expect something beyond Red Zone locations? Of course. And it had already been teased before. But what we do know is that Dark Zone locations will finally allow players to obtain titanium. Which I think is going to be awesome. Now, of course, we don't know what these Dark Zone places are going to be. I've got a feeling it's something to do with the art they teased a while ago. It was like a, um... Oh, I really can't remember. It's so long ago. But I remember Cloud saying that we're going to have a use for flashlights, I believe it was. So this is going to be quite interesting to see. And I am really looking forward to it. Because if I take a quick look at the blueprints section, titanium is what we're going to be needing to make the chemistry station as well as the repair station. So hopefully that is all going to be coming with Dark Zone locations as well. And of course there's the Kevlar stuff, there's the tactical backpack, and oh yeah, there's no word about tungsten unfortunately, but I think tungsten is only used for landmines, the helicopter, electronic labs, safe, electronic circuit, C4, the mortar and the drug knob. So a lot of things require it. Looking at it now, but yeah, I'm just really excited to get the repair station. That is what I want the most. So I hope you all enjoyed this and of course watching me run through the farm in the background as well. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Don't forget to sub, comment, leave a like, whatever, and join Discord. There is a link in the description.